septic tank riser installation. Last night I installed my septic tank risers that I got from Polylock from septicsolutions.com. I bought these Polylock septic tank risers and last night I installed them and I keep referring to them as Polytech. <laughs> so my apologies to Polylock. It's the Polylock brand septic tank risers. I bought the um, the Polytech style from Septic Solutions. It's got, I didn't buy the heavy duty lid to save some money. I just bought the standard lid. Um, the 20 inch also to save a little bit of money. This is the, the adapter piece that I'm going to lag down to the top of my, my septic tank. This is the 6 inch tall riser I fit on top of here. And then of course my lid goes on top of that. I got it centered up. Um, I had to turn it kind of funny. Here, this concrete piece right here doesn't give me a lot of room. So I, I spun it a little bit so that the lags are right on the edge of, uh, of where, they, where they gotta be. I always put my nut on there first so that if I bugger up the end banging it in I can uh, back the nut off and kind of redo the threads. So I'm going to go ahead and get these all put in. Keep dry fitting it, drill a couple more holes, put some more in, dry fit it again, make sure it's where I want it to be. Okay, I got this dry fitted. I got all my anchors in. Just uh, a little bit above here. I didn't bang them in all the way. I wouldn't be able to get the nut on them. Banged them in just enough. And now I'm going to remove this, get the bottom of it all clean, clean the top of the septic tank really well, brush it all off, and uh, put my butyl rubber on the bottom of this, put it all back down, and bolt and, it down. Uh, this is the, the butyl rubber. Um, that I'm going to use to seal this right here this this ridge right here this stiffener that's exactly where I'm going to build up that butyl rubber that's what's going to have pressure and make contact with the top of the top of the septic tank for sealing it I've got the butyl rubber around here okay I got the top down and I got my my nut just started on this after you get this nut on here you're going to want to bang this down some. You're going to want to bang it down as much as you can. Because as you tighten these, it pulls that wedge that's on the on the bottom that's inside the concrete. And sometimes it takes a little bit of take up on this nut for that wedge to actually catch. So you're going to want to get the anchor down in there as far as you can. Then you go ahead and you tighten this up. And then that way the wedge is going to catch and you're not going to end up pulling it out of the concrete. You got a good chance of it catching the way that it's supposed to. Uh, but now, this, this piece was stuck on here, onto my adapter ring. I just put it on there to make it manageable, but it pops off really on there. It's got an integral gasket to it. Foam rubber. It's just like, it's like spongy foam rubber stuff. And when you set it down in this track here, it seals itself onto the top of this stiffener here. Septic Solutions Care of Polytech um, provides you with these these screws here. You use them to bring the two pieces together. I might have done something wrong. You got to make sure that it's lined up properly. Which see, I messed up there. There's no hole for the that screw, so you got to clock it to where the holes line up with the other holes in the, in the piece below it so that when you put the screw in it goes in and it's probably helpful to maybe get a long adapter so you can get right down on top of the screw six screws in around here all right all fastened down and here is the the lid old lid <laughs> 45 year old lid the new lid same thing it's got the screw holes you position it 
on top of these where they need to go fit it down into place it's got these stowable handles here to fl they lay flush back fill it and I'm done with this side lid on my solid side is installed here's my affluent side so there they are all completed I'm gonna do some more videos on me um, revitalizing my drain field using uh, oxygen to promote those uh, aerobic bacterias and I'll go over my drain field and how I'm gonna go about doing that but this video was for the riser installation